just a quick disclaimer before we start. Disassembling your pen voids your Huion warranty. If your pen is not working, I would recommend exploring the troubleshooting options provided by Huion customer service at support.huion.com. If you are still under warranty, Huion will replace the pen if needed. It is likely your pen is not working due to a software driver issue and can be resolved without resorting to this method. This method could permanently damage your pen beyond repair, so please proceed cautiously. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So, I broke my pen. I've dropped it many times from a standing height onto a hardwood floor where I have my desk, and I guess I've just done it one too many times because recently the side button stopped working and the tracking of the cursor became very stuttery and jittery. Because I dropped it so many times, I was reasonably sure this was a hardware issue and not a software or driver one, so I decided to open it up and see. I'm not affiliated with Huion in any way, I'm not paid or sponsored by them, and I purchased this tablet with my own money from a local electronics store. But for anybody on the fence about these products, I would actually highly recommend. As a quick overview, I have the Canvas 20 non-pro version. It has a 19.5 inch etched anti-glare glass screen with 120% sRGB color gamut. An adjustable stand, which was a huge selling point for me. It makes it really comfortable to work on. A glove I cannot live without now. It makes it super comfortable to work on as well. A pen holder with 10 extra nibs. And the battery-free pen with over 8,000 pressure levels. Personally, the calibration has been perfect for me, and I've had no issues with the drivers. But back to the issue at hand, the buttons. So to take the pen apart, you're going to want to apply pressure to the silver ring here. But first, I'd recommend removing the button covers. Just pull the rubber cover back gently with your fingers, and the button covers should come off without too much force. There you can see the pen circuit board. So again, to take the pen apart, you're going to want to apply some pressure to the silver ring here. Shouldn't take too much force or pressure. The pen is just being held together by a little bit of glue. So with your fingers, you can apply some pressure up and down and in a twisting motion around the silver ring. This took me about 20 minutes of gentle force before I noticed any movement. So patience is key here. Once you get some separation, you may want to stick your fingernail in there to make some more space. Once apart, you're going to want to apply some pressure with a pin to the button here on the back. I just used a pair of tweezers. You may hear a click. And there you have it. You can slide the circuit board out. Here you can see the issue. The solder is broken and the wire is now disconnected from the circuit board, which is why my buttons were not registering and I suppose it affected the cursor tracking as well. I should add that I do have experience working with electrical circuitry and soldering. Unfortunately, my soldering iron is about 10,000 miles away in another country, so I had to improvise with a DIY home solution. You're gonna want a heat source, like a lighter, a decorative candle of your choice, and something metal like a screwdriver. I would also recommend taping the circuit board and the wires down for added stability. Please be safe when doing this. Wear eye protection and a glove. The screwdriver will get very hot. I would also recommend doing this in the kitchen where things are maybe a little bit less flammable. Light the candle and hold the screwdriver tip at the bottom part of the flame where the flame is blue. Hold it there for at least one to two minutes or it will not be hot enough to melt the solder. 
When it is hot enough, touch the screwdriver to the solder until it melts over the wire. This took many tries for me until the screwdriver finally got hot enough as I just wasn't holding it long enough in the flame. There's the result. Not the best soldering, but let's see what happens. Okay, let's reassemble the pen and test it out. Okay, so cursor tracking without stuttering or jittering. Bottom button works as rotate. Top button works as right click. Again, no stuttering. Rotate and right click. It works. So there you have it guys, an easy DIY home solution to fixing your graphics tablet pen if you're like me and you've dropped it one too many times. Thanks again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and see you next time.